Hey, I'm back and welcome once again to Larry's Fountain Pens for a serious review on fountain pens. Uh, okay, okay. Stay Gotta down. have some humor. Gotta have some humor. I'm just I'm one of those with a great face. But today I am going to be doing a review with the Wave Wepson Gill Fountain Pen. And thank you to Frank Overman for lending me this pen for a review and I will get that back to him as soon as I get done with this review so this is a very interesting pen I've seen this pen and maybe you as well on Facebook uh, it's not an expensive pen whatsoever I think you can get this pen below six bucks so why didn't I get the pen uh, you know, I, I don't have a good answer for that. Uh, maybe just Larry, because is it worth the money to buy? Is it worth the time to even review it? Well, here it is sitting in front of me. And uh, believe it or not, it feels really nice in the hand. I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like about the pen. It feels really, really nice in the hand. That it does. It has a bit of weight to it, 40.4 Gs. And the length of the pen cap, just like it is, is 5.88 inches. Let's unscrew the barrel. And the barrel from here to here is 3.72 inches. He does not post the pen, so... And it won't post anyway, and it would scratch up the wood if you did that. So, I'm not going to ruin this pen. And, in fact, if this was my pen, I wouldn't be posting it as well. Trust me, it does not post, and it will scratch the wood. Very nice wood. Uh, the cap and the section are constructed with, they say, high-quality brass. So, here's the brass section right here. And it's attached to the beautiful redwood which is a really nice wood. It's a really nice long section. Uh, so, and you know, my fingers feel, just feel comfortable. There, I haven't had any problems writing with the pen. Uh, let's unscrew the barrel. And I got a little ink left in it. And it comes with a converter. Screw on the barrel. Really sweet. And it looked like it might be a number five nib. So let me get my looking glass and look at this nib for a second. And, you know, it's just your standard uh, radium nib. It says uh, two-tone. Not much going on with the nib, really. Uh doesn't have any markings for the nib size uh, regular plastic feed uh, but uh, what, what's nice about it is the, the brass so I do like the the brass look I do like the wood on it so that brass and that wood fits real well and you know in time this brass will patina through the weeks and through the months and you can get a, a nice uh, jewelers cloth and give that a, a polish if you want to bring it back to that full luster that it was and you can even shine this up the wood with some nice polish as well um, so the nib they say has a premium flow nib optimized airflow for steady ink delivery okay We'll be doing some writing here in a minute to, to show you that. Uh, this is about what you're going to get if you buy this pen. And for those who have already bought this pen, leave me your comments below. Let me know your thoughts. You know what I, I don't care for about the pen so much is there's no clip. So... If I want to put it in my shirt, I can't. So, and I, I won't put it in my pocket because I'll scratch it up. So, I would have to put it in a pen case, as such here, let's just say. 
and it would work perfect in a pen case and carry it around. So, uh, what do you say? Let's see how this pen writes because it's all about the nib as far as I'm concerned. I can have the best looking pen, but if that nib doesn't function properly, you know, I'm really disappointed. It's a big letdown for me. And I'll use the blank paper rhodia. And we'll unscrew this cap. And we'll get busy with the ink. And the name of the pen is uh, The Wave. Now, I have not used this pen for about three, four, five days. I've let it sit to see how it would write not being used for a few days. And that part right there was my fault, not the pen's fault. This is a fine nib. And we'll just do a few little swirls here. Nice ink flow. Feels nice in the hand. We'll do a little wet test right here. And it does have a real nice wet ink flow. I like that wetness in the pen. And this is fine nib. So, you know, the pen overall writes very well. Uh, Checking out the nib still. This is uh, no pressure whatsoever right there. Now let's do a little pressure. And you get some pressure. So let's try something here. On that downstroke. No pressure. No pressure. And with some pressure. And you do get a bit of pressure right through there. So, no pressure at all, and you see you do get a different line variation. Reverse writing. As you can see. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It does very well with reverse writing. And I'm going to draw a stick person. And I guess I'll give her a dress. just doodling yeah and looking in the cap there's no ink inside the cap I don't know if you can see that very well so you know the pen performed well I, I had no problems with the pen whatsoever I have nothing negative to say about the pen whatsoever uh, once again, I will say the only turnoff for me is no clip, but you know, that's not deal breaker.
what's important is how well the pen functioned, and it did very well. How well the pen wrote, and it wrote very well. How was the nib on this pen? The nib was nice. Didn't have a lot of bounce or spring to it at all, not so ever. Uh, kind of a, like a stiff nib, uh, but it still performed very well. So, yeah, I would give it a thumbs up. You know, I do like that brass cap, and as you go up the brass cap, it does have a band. You can, I don't know if you can see that. Can you pick that up on the camera right in here? Right there is a band right there. And on top of the cap on the finial, it really doesn't have it. Really doesn't have anything of, of any kind of markings on there whatsoever. So, and I'm looking down here now the barrel. There's a another band right here on the brass, and that's really all that I found on the pin. So, looking at it. So, there you have it. The Wave, Webson Gill Fountain Pen. Now, I know people are going to ask, Larry, where can I find a fountain pen? Good question. Uh, I've seen it, like I said before, on Facebook. So you can go on Facebook and look for Webson, W-B-S-O-N, Gill, G-I-L, Fountain Pen, or the wave, the wave. And the way they have it listed, with the Wave, Webson Gill Fountain Pen. And you can pull it up. And you're going to see how very, very, very affordable this pen is. And, you know, for the kind of money that you're spending on this pen, if you lose it, not a big loss. But then you're going to get a pretty decent writing experience for this pen. And I think it's going to be like, wow, I can't believe for what, five, six, seven bucks, I get this pen that writes decent. Folks, that's going to do it for this review today. So, until my next review, my friends, stay warm. And today has reached 78 degrees here in Fort Worth, Sunday day. And that's going to do it for now. And remember, don't text and drive. Talk to you later. Peace.